guys, it's Fine Lake Wine 49. Hello, everyone. It's been like a month, so I'll just get right into it. I've been really busy in the last month or so. I've been uh, doing that dojo sports thing, going to live tournaments and working, so. My uh, Seattle team won the dojo sports, won the grand prize in the grand finals. I don't know if any of you saw that. We won the 2000 bucks. I played terrible, but at least our team won. Okay. And tomorrow, I'm, I figured I'd just uh, kind of speed out a Let's Play episode. Just because I was going to be busy this entire weekend, I'm going to go to Canada for April Duels. It's their majors they got going on in Vancouver. So I think Justin Wong... Lapchi, Air, Gamer B, and PR Balrog will be there, so I'm gonna some good players. I'm gonna do my best, I'm trying to hold it down for the Guile Army. This guy's just letting me backfist at him. Oh my god, isn't that fucking great? How he just jumped in right, right as I Sonic Boom, he just felt like jumping. <laughs> See, I waited for him there, and he threw Fireball. No, oh, that standing fear is about at that range. There's not much the god can do about it. Uh, yeah, that was probably 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 should have built a little bit more meter than what I did, but who cares? This guy doesn't know what he's doing, so what combo practice on it. So yeah, I'm heading up to Vancouver tomorrow. I'm going to be working tomorrow in the midday and then having to rush up to Vancouver. AE, the AE tournament actually starts at 4 o'clock and I'm getting off at 1 o'clock. I'm getting off work at 1 o'clock. So. I'm going to be rushed to get up to Vancouver. I'll probably be late. I might not. I might get DQ'd from the tournament. But I'll try to money match people. <laughs> I'll definitely try to get in the Salty Swede on Saturday night, so I'm going to link, put a link in the description of April Duels, the uh, major that's going on in Vancouver. So if you want to stream Monster in my corner, then feel free. And also, since it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, just vote below which character matchup tutorial you guys want to see the most, and I'll take the most votes. And I'll make a tutorial out of it whenever I can. Probably start on it sometime late next week. And I'll cut off the votes on, let's say, Monday morning. So whatever character you want to see that I haven't already done, that would be great. Usually it takes like two or three votes for you guys to pick a character, so... Anything can happen. I was hoping... I don't know. I was hoping to redo the block of tutorial. But... I'd rather get some other characters if I want to get. That block of tutorial is like the only one that does not sit well with me. I keep thinking I can punish the chin wheel with the sweep. And I'm waiting for him to dive kick at me. Ooh, dive kick. Pretty much all he has left is doing like an EX dive kick. Wasted his meter on EX pinwheel and he. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this guy. I wish I played him before. I was reading that he was gonna jump. Yeah, I'm reading this all wrong. Okay. He just gave up, I think. What? Air throw just whipped there. Yeah, pretty much with these people, you just gotta wait till they do something stupid. Oh my god. 
That's what you do. Kind of throw out a few pokes for them to get them away from you and just wait for them to do some over the top unsafe special move or jump in. And you have flash get charged. Oh. So this is Friday night. There should be some good players on. You would think. Not many people are on now. Um, I don't know if you guys like uh, want to see the Guile vs. Abel character tutorial. I'd be down to do that. Something that Guile struggles with, I think, would be good. My last one, I don't even know. Last one I made was that, uh. I did the anti air tutorial, but thinking about the character matchup. Might have been Seth or something. I don't know. Yeah, something that. some character that Guile struggles with would probably be best. Man, low point player. And Mr. Combo. Jumping in again. Jumping in. Yeah, I'm just trying to end this round as quickly as I can, so. <laughs> that was not a safe jump. Oh, good cut. I air throwed. See if I can come back and beat him. Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Fine. You're gonna make me actually play. Oh, I hate online so much. These fucking people are stupid. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. I air to air the head. Jesus Christ. Actually, if he hits me at Ultra, I might lose here, so. Don't get ultra -ed. God damn it. I've just gone all wrong. He's gonna have to jump at me eventually. So I hit him with that. He is at least stepping back twice in the opening. Especially online when you jump at you. Come on, keep jumping. Yep, he got hit with like 12 down pierces, so. Not the most intelligent Street Fighter in the world. Hey, I got one battle point out of it. Alright, that was just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Nope. Winged boar, not playing you again. My connection. When's Marvel? I've played him before. <sighs> I 
same people. <laughs> All familiar faces. Come on. This episode is going to be difficult to do because I'm so tired right now. Some new character, come on. Oh. It's going to be one of those episodes. Yeah, sorry I haven't been uploading as much. Been working from 7 to 6 on weekdays and Saturdays, so. I work a lot and then I try to support my local scene, so. My YouTube channel gets put on the back burner. Hey, Fei Long! I did a tutorial on this character. It's a pretty boring tutorial. There's not much to say about this matchup. It's very footsie heavy. <laughs> when you're in the mid range and you're not doing anything, just stick out standing jabs just in case you catch a Rekka. And it's actually hard. When you're offline, you can throw out standing jabs and easily link a fierce on the end of it. But online, usually the fierce will, whip, will just miss. You won't combo into it just because the lag. It's hard to just stick out random jabs and make something out of it when you're offline or online. I really gotta be careful about back fists here, because he belong has a ton of options to deal with back fists. That was a really good focus attack. There's nothing Guile can do when he focus attacks that early. I'm down for that trade. Man, there's not a lot of Fei Long players in the world. Look at our uh, battle points. Oh, he's getting desperate now. Cannot believe he jumped over that one. That was not a smart one to jump over. Yeah. <laughs> this round is not going well. What? Don't cross Guile up in the corner. And that first Rekka he did, I guess, was a fierce one, because I was able to jab it. It's a pretty predictable chicken wing. Surprised he did it. Oh well. It's a bad match for Fei Long. Fei Long's up there on the tier list, though. Yeah, he should have been, to deal with my back fist, he should have stuck out more low jabs and sweeps. Because Fei Long can just stuff the back fist pretty easily. He shouldn't have been doing those chicken wings either, because Guile can do any poke. Oh, what a pain in the ass this character is online. He's bad enough offline, but online is just unbelievably difficult. You pretty much have to just guess whether... Unless you have a charge for a flash kick, you can't stuff the Jaguar kicks that easily. You just gotta stay at a good range to whip on a jump. Oh my god. I love how that just worked out for him. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way you can react to the Jaguar kick. Flash kick. Right here, you gotta be careful he's gonna Jaguar to use at me, so he flips back and then do a jump back to hit a bread and butter combo. <laughs> oh, 
He's not very good, that's for sure. He's not mixing me up at all. He's just going for a combo in the DG every time. I didn't want to kill him at the end of the round because I wanted to build a super, but... Whatever. He might be trying to bait out Flash Kicks, which is really smart by him. <laughs> Oh, that trade is... Flash kick sucks! Air throws are really good against Adon, especially when he's delayed in the air. Oh, couldn't cancel it, he's too far away. You know what? I flash kicked him there. <laughs> flash kick is so bad. It's so bad. It's such a horrible move. I just lost to a shitty player because of it. Oh my god. That's pretty much all it's good for right there. That was a quick round. That was me just like guessing most of the time. He was playing very predictable, so. If you jump in, like, I don't know, you can sort of react if he jumps in the air and tries a Jaguar kick, and if he doesn't do it, then you can just do a normal roundhouse, so a lot of the time, when I'm ahead on frames, I just do that jump and see if he'll go up with me. If not, then I pressure him. If that was a real tournament, I wouldn't have jumped in on him like that. Because you can react to Jaguar kicks when you're offline. And so that's pretty much what you should do. <laughs> Try to whiff punish and stuff him instead of uh, pressuring Adon. One thing he was doing that was good was the, uh, the low pierces. Because that beats almost anything Guile does, especially Adon standing roundhouse. He wasn't doing that. He should have done that a little bit more. And less Jaguar Tooths, because that's a really bad move. It's a really bad move, yet it beat my Flash Kick. That shows you uh, how high Flash Kick is on the totem pole. <laughs> oh, Adon. Oh, God. It's the same guy. Did I do that? Uh, might be a different guy. <laughs> Adon's everywhere. I have a sinking suspicion that uh, I don't think Adon and Sakura will get nerfed in this upcoming patch. See, that's what you do about the Jaguar dude. Okay. That was interesting. He's got to jump when he Jaguar tooth. Yeah. See, like, when I tried to react with the flash kick... I tried to react with the flash kick, but, like I said, it's a little bit laggier and it's harder to react to Jaguar tooth, so I did up back A. But it just got up, like, up and back, and it put me in block, which is fine. So, like, if you, if you do it early enough, you flash kick it, you're a little bit late, and you're able to block the Jaguar, too, so that's fine. You should hold down back more against online Adon players. I thought for sure he's gonna Jaguar, too, there. Oh, that's bad for him. Gonna yeah, Jaguar 2! Do it! Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! 
That that is why Adon's stupid online. This shit goes his way in that matchup. What can he say about it? I think I'm finally back to the points that I had a couple months ago. Back in it. Yeah, Adon Sweep is pretty good too. He's using it decently. One of those sweeps is good. <laughs> when Guile has a down charge, you usually don't want to sweep out of him. Either you gotta make a really sick footsie read where you just walk up and they always and the Guile player always does a little forward to get you off. If you spam that too much, a good player will notice it and just like walk up and sweep you. One thing that you need to know when you play against Seahawk is don't throw a Sonic Boom at your opening. Because, like, if he jumps in on you, you can lose very easily. I think players are starting to get a little bit smarter against Kyle because they're doing that neutral jump and doing nothing and trying to bait out a. trying to bait out a flash kick. So hard for Seahawk, especially <laughs> like especially if you don't know some of the really high skill level shit to do to Seahawk, like know the block strings and to cross up Condor dive and Condor dive as soon as you can on the ground, like gonna get eaten alive by Guile. See, that almost did a cross up. I think if I was on the ground, he got me. Has no meter now, he's not in good shape. Oh, he grabbed a fear. That's a bad uh, habit of mine. Oh, that went deep. I was backing up after that. I always whiff punish that condor dive, don't let him get away with it. Because if you like back up when he's condor diving at you and you just keep backing up, you'll get knocked into, or you'll get walked into the corner. And he'll have the advantage. I'm not remembering any of these people's names, so... I'm probably going to play that goddamn Adon player again. Okay. Seahawks. <laughs> Seahawks, Seahawks everywhere. Ooh, this guy looks a little bit better. My Xbox is not sounding well. Sounds like a lawnmower right now. It's the battle of the century. Fight! Hang in there, Xbox. I wonder what this guy's doing. See, if he was a little bit closer, that would have crossed me up from Condor Dive Photo. I don't know what this guy's thinking he's doing. I'm not gonna even jump at him because I don't know <laughs> what this guy has in mind. I don't know if he's just like trolling me or. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? And you can air throw Condor guys too. I wouldn't recommend doing it too much because they just like, change the height on the Condor dive to do it as soon as they can and you'll get hit out of there and grab You'll end up right next to him, waking up. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha! 
guy is just going nuts on that stick, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'll bait that out next round then. Got a good life lead. Oh, wow. Oh. oh my god, what am I doing? If he condor dies with me again, I have an ult. Like that. Man, he was really going for it. I don't know what that guy's game plan was, but he was probably 200 damage away from killing me. The perils of online. You don't even need a game plan and you could win at Street Fighter 4, man. You could just do whatever comes to your crazy little mind. Oh, that guy... I don't know, I guess I'll do just one more then. Sorry for the shitty episode. There we go. Green bars. Crammy. I'll, uh, I'll take a bet that Cammy will be nerfed in the next patch. New upcoming patch. And as someone who plays Cammy, it's totally legit to nerf this bitch. Because, like, I didn't put much time into Cammy, but I was able to knock people down and win. So, I don't know legit about the character. Didn't need to learn any setups, I just, like, dive kick at people. Sets up damage. Yeah, this is also just a match where you unfortunately are just like no good spacing for you. You just gotta keep her out as much as possible, if that even makes sense. Because you want to stay outside of all of her normal crazy. She's probably going to get back into the corner for you. Yeah, there, if you would have EX dive kick, it would have beat the flat kick. No doubt about it. Cute angle, just sort of horizontally on the dive kick, and it's gonna hit a flash kick. Oh my god. Jump. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say about that episode, just uh, support me tomorrow at April Duels 2 in Vancouver, and Take a vote on the next character tutorial that you want to see. I'll do my best to get working on that as soon as I can. Thanks for the support. I will see you guys next time.